Eric Darling here uh, to start a line of hand lotion reviews. I'm kidding. Uh, though that would be more topical. And if you don't see the pun that just occurred there, topical reviews of hand lotion, I, don't, I think you should stop watching. You should get a new hobby. You should go collect rocks or something. Go investigate slime. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sure it's fine. Not, er not everyone is into puns. Cool. So uh, this video is not about hand lotion, though um, if, if this counts as sponsorship, then I don't know, whatever. <laughs> uh, this video is about table variables, um, sort of generally, but more specifically table variables in SQL Server 2019. Now, uh, in SQL Server 2019, uh, Microsoft has um, made attempts to fix a lot of common problems that people will hit uh, with query performance. And one of those issues is with uh, table variable cardinality estimation. Um, in versions prior to SQL Server 2019, unless you applied a recompile hint or some goofy trace flag, you would get a one row estimate from a table variable. Now that changes a little bit with uh, multi-statement table valued functions which return table variables. We're not going to get into all that detail here, just know that they are different. Now in SQL Server 2019 what happens is we pause after we insert data into a table variable. Now there's a little bit of a branch here. So if it's, if it's a stored procedure you will pause you will look at the number of rows that were inserted into the table variable, and then SQL Server will cache that guess. So if you're thinking to yourself, it sounds like table variables just became a new source of parameter sniffing. Well, golly and gosh, you are correct. In ad hoc queries, you will pause for each execution, and SQL Server will look at the number of rows that went in, and then we will, of course, bum, 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 bum just guess the number of rows that went into the table. Now an important thing that's missing from all versions of SQL Server and across all table variables is that we have no column level information about the data that got put into our table variable. We do not have a statistics histogram. We have nothing of the sort. We do not have any information that you would find in a normal statistics object that would tell you about the data distribution, distinctness, rows, average rows, range rows, all that good stuff. Uh, we don't get that no matter what. All we get is table cardinality. So while that is an improvement, there are times when that guess can go horrifically. <laughs> well, well, when that, that table cardinality guess isn't, just isn't what makes a big difference. Sometimes it is, other times it isn't. So I have this query, but I'm not gonna run this query over here. I'm going to run this query over here <laughs> because we're going to run this and then we're going to talk about what's, what happens with table variables versus 10 tables. So I'm going to kick that off running. And the first thing that I want to note is that uh, estimated plans do not help us here. Um, if you look at this estimated plan, we can see that we insert 1001 rows estimated here. There we go, 1001. Hooray, hooray, hooray. But in this plan down below, we still get the one row guess. Sad face. We are not helped by the old estimated plan. No, we're not. So let's move on a little bit. Now, what I need to point out here is that table variables behind the scenes use a temporary object, a pound signed, temp pound, not signed, pound signed, pound sand temporary object. And if I run this query, uh, it'll thankfully run pretty quickly. And if you look over at the messages tab, we will see our mysterious pound signed object that gets created. Now, I wish that there were a way that I could pre-detect that pound signed object so that I could uh, show you that there are no statistics involved with that thing, but I can't. What I can show you is that statistics exist for temporary tables, the pound sign actual temporary tables. I call them temporary tables plus because they're temporary tables plus statistics. Right? Or table variables plus statistics. That's a good that's a good one. Good way to talk about things, right? So let's look at what happens when we run this code. If we hit F5 here and we use the super duper fancy new uh, DMV or this this single singular super duper fancy new uh, DMV as of SQL Server 2016. Brand new. Uh, 
uh, we will get some information back uh, statistically about what data went into that temp table. We will have that. And yes, this can be cached. And yes, this can cause an issue. And I, yes, I do have a video about that. And yes, I will link to it in the details. So you can go watch that later. But anyway, that's the point there. So when SQL Server makes guesses about things, it can use this wonderful batch of, his, of information to look at what rows were in here. And it can use that you can use that information to make a guess about what it's going to have to do uh, in the in the rest of the query. So if we turn on the query plan and we we rerun this, we have a lot of fun. We look at the execution plan. SQL Server can use information from over here to make guesses about what's going to happen down here and how to choose that execution plan. Now, what I want to point out really quickly is that this query that I'm running here, now it doesn't matter, I can leave off that DVCC free proc cache thing, I can run that. This returns very, very quickly over here. This same query using a table variable is still executing over here after nearly three minutes. So we, we, we have a, we, I think we have a plan quality issue on our hands here. I'm not really sure what else to tell you. Now, I know what you're thinking, Eric, there's no recompile hint here, but gosh darn it, this is SQL Server 2019. We don't need a recompile hint. We get the same information without it because this is us running it over here and we get the table variable deferred compilation. Now, what's sort of interesting is if we go a little bit deeper into things, right? If we look a little bit beyond the histogram, beyond, 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 beyond. And we use this query that hits a table variable and we try to get cardinality estimation information from it. What we'll get over in the messages tab is a whole bunch of stuff that I don't understand at all. I, I, I start reading through it and I, I, get, I get cranky. But one thing that shows up in here that I think is very interesting is this line right here. <laughs> CST call black box. That doesn't sound like something that's gonna reveal a lot of information to us, does it? So let's, let's search in here and let's search. Uh, in here and let's see yep there it is there's i mean the first iteration of it this actually shows up a bunch of times in here but we can see that see when sql server tried to make a guess it was guessing from a black box so no 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 you got me screwed there can't nothing we can do about that <clears throat> but if we as mature experienced data professionals use a pound sign temporary table instead and we run this query we will get, I mean, first thing I want to point out in the execution plan is that we get uh, a dead to rights accurate cardinality estimate over here. I think I forgot to show you that up here. If we come over here, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I don't know what's going to happen now. Uh, yeah, we get, well, that's weird. I don't know. I forget, I forget what my point was there. But if we go look at the um, information over here, uh, yeah, two, no, one, one, yeah, rather than 12, I don't, yeah, because it was, get, oh, yeah, because it gets 12 up there. I'm all, I'm, I apologize, I'm exhausted today. If we <laughs> come back over here, uh, it guess 12 rows would come out of this, 12. Ha, 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 Eric screwed up. No, Eric is exhausted. Eric hasn't slept in, like, three nights, so <laughs> deal with it. Uh, this video is free. I don't want to hear about it. So, uh, yeah, we, the, we, we made a guess of 12 rows up here. And we make an accurate guess down here of 27,901 rows. There we go. Bingo, bingo. We are set. We are sweet. We are go golden. But we are still executing over here. <laughs> that's, that's less than ideal. Um, but anyway, uh, what we have over here is, of course, um, where SQL Server makes its cardinality estimation. Uh, over the Messages tab, come over here and look. Uh, we will get uh, accurate cardinality guesses down here. SQL Server will not use a black box to try and guess what was happening. And in case you didn't notice, we just finished over here after 5 minutes and 51 seconds. So uh, we can see that over here, we, uh, we did pretty well. Yeah, we inserted 1,000 rows very quickly. And if we uh, head on down here and look, uh, you can see that we, we got our accurate table cardinality of 1,001 rows, but we did not <laughs> get that column level cardinality that would help us make better guesses on down the line. So if we scroll down a little bit here, oh, actually, you know what? let's blow this up a little because I, I care about your experience as an end user somewhat. Uh, 
if we look over here, we got our thousand and one row guess, we are, which was great. And then down here, we, we, things sort of fell apart. We got 35,000 rows back when we guessed 378. And then if we uh, go, over, oh, go away, tooltip, I don't need you. If we go down here, uh, where we guessed 10,099 rows, we got uh, 130409472. Now keep in mind that is from a key lookup, so that is a total number of rows that have that have exited there. Uh, so you know, um, you know, keep in mind that there's there's that going on. The key lookups are kind of tricky. I, I'll, I'll I'll put a blog post together about that. But anyway, um, we can see over here that we we maintained that guess that was not so hot there, and uh, that we took five and a half minutes to run there. So sadness increases exponentially. Anyway point is, the temp tables versus table variables thing can still matter, even in SQL Server 2019. Uh, the lack of column level statistics can really still harm ca cardinality estimation. You may find in many cases that just getting table cardinality is good enough to solve many of your query problems, but bum, 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 oftentimes you will still need that true to life uh, cardinality estimation that comes from column level statistics, which you don't get even if you apply a recompile hint here. So, I don't know, whatever. I'm Eric Darling, and I endorse hand washing and hand lotioning and uh, staying indoors. Those are, those are the three things that I endorse currently. Uh, I also endorse temp tables for the most part over table variables. Like ninety nine percent of the time, ninety nine, nine ninety seven, ninety six and a half.